Just a little bit of this should do the trick. Here we go. That looks promising. I can't believe it. It's working splendidly. Could I really have discovered a cure for horn cancer? What was that? <coughs> I guess it's back to the drawing board. That dream may have to wait another day. Whoa, that explosion was awesome. Hey, you're static, right? I've seen you in class. Do you really think you're going to be a doctor someday? You know what your name should be? Atom Bomb, because you're just a disaster waiting to happen. All right, every pony, clear out of the way. You don't want Atom Bomb here to blow you up. I'll show that wish of well. I'll show her and every pony else that I am a great medical scientist. Static, I need your help. Can't you see I'm busy, wish of well? Besides, aren't you afraid I'll blow you up? Gee, that stallion can hold a grudge. I never meant to hurt him so. Teasing was just the way my father and I motivated each other. I was such a jerk. I wouldn't blame him if he, if he never forgave me. Still, he's the only pony who can help my troops. So for their lives' sake, I have to try. I'm sorry, okay? You have every right to be mad at me. I wouldn't be surprised if you hated me, but my fellow guards are fatally ill. And you know more about medicine and rare diseases than any pony I've ever met. You don't need to do this for me, but please, do it for the guards. Whoa, I've never seen Wish a World like this. She's usually able to brush off even the most tragic thoughts. She must be really worried. Can I really forgive her for all she's put me through? Even if I can't, I should still help the guards. They had nothing to do with it. All right, I'll come. I mean, I'm not a miracle worker, but I shall do what I can. Thank you. Are they going to be all right? You came to me just in time. Any longer and I would have had to remove the unicorn's horns and the pegasus's wings. But I gave them the antidote. And if the guards take it once every eight hours, they should feel better in a couple of weeks. <sighs> Thank goodness. Thanks again, Ad I, I mean Static. I always knew you were an intelligent pony. I have a question for you, Wish a Whirl. If you thought I was smart, then why did you pick on me all those years? Right. That doesn't make much sense at all. You know how ponies use different emotions to motivate themselves to being their best? Well, for my whole foalhood, my father motivated me through teasing. He would purposefully make me mad so that I would be driven to prove him wrong. I always knew Dad wasn't trying to be mean. He just wanted to see me be a better guard, so I was never that hurt. So, when I see potential in some pony, not being familiar with other ways of motivation, I try the same technique on them. You may not get your experiments right all the time, but you have a brilliant mind and a determined spirit, and I knew with a little motivation you could become the greatest medical scientist around here. So, you just wanted me to prove your teasing was wrong because you thought I had potential? Yeah, but that's not all. <sighs> I never knew how to tell you this before, but the truth is, I like you, Static Electricity. Huh? I, 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 I don't know what to say. I think you're pretty great, too. I mean, I was mad at you for teasing me, uh, so I didn't want to admit it. But there are a lot of things I admire about you. Oh? Such as? 
Well, your courage for one, your ability to take charge, your mastery of the sword and the bow and the arrow, your ability to think on your hooves, and you always seem to stay calm even when chaos is surrounding you. You are a remarkable pony. Gosh, thanks, Static. But you know, teasing me may be a playful gesture and a positive motivator for some ponies. However, that doesn't work for me. Static, I said I was sorry and I meant it. What else do you want? I know you're sorry and I forgive you for your lack of social skills. It's just that your words really hurt me, and it caused me to try and distance my path as far away from yours as possible. Now I wish you would have told me your true feelings sooner. What are you talking about? I'm engaged to some pony else, okay? I'm engaged to a mare who I have dated for three years. A mare who I was in love with. A mare who I thought was going to be the one I would want to spend the rest of my life with. But then you came along and now I don't know what to think. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Wish a Whirl. I just need to be alone for a bit to figure this out. <sighs> what am I doing? How could I even think about going back on my engagement? Flicker and I have such history. The only history wish a -Whirl and I have, at least for now, is a bad one. Flicker and I have pretty much everything in common. We both love science, archaeology, politics, math, and astronomy. Well, now that I think about it, wish a -Whirl and I also have some things in common, like our taste in music our fascination of inventions, and even though we show it in different ways, we both care deeply about our fellow ponies. I have seen wish a -Whirl fools before, and she's pretty good with kids. She could be a great mother someday. Even though Flicker never said she didn't like children, she seems to get nervous at the very mention of them. wish a -Whirl's teasing drove me crazy. But she only did it so I could be determined to prove her wrong. It's not all how it would have gone about motivating somebody, but eh, it worked. I can honestly say I've grown into a better scientist because of her. She helped me strive to be better myself. Did Flicker ever do that? Don't ever change, Static. You're perfect just the way you are. This isn't going to be easy, but I know what I need to do now. Hey, wish a -Whirl. I simply do not know why my father told me to take a ride through the clouds for inspiration. Nothing exciting happens here. Great trot! I'm grateful I did not choose to lean backward. I'm really sorry, sir. I was practicing my archery when I got distracted and accidentally let the arrow go. She shouldn't have all the blame. I was the one who startled her. We're very sorry, mister. All right, you seem like a pleasant couple, so I won't turn you in today. Just do be careful where you point that arrow, dear. I must return to my humble abode. Tally ho, you two. But sir, we're not actually, uh... Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. What are you saying, Static? Are you saying you're starting to like me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about your fiancé? You two had been dating for three years. You were so in love, and now you're really going to leave her for me? I don't get it. I thought I was in love, but the truth is, I didn't know what love was. It's not about finding some pony 
who was just like you and doesn't want anything about you to change? Real love between ponies happens when both realize that neither one of them is perfect and put up with each other's flaws while also pushing each other to be their better selves. You taught me that, Wisha World. I'm still in shock. Everything I thought I knew about love has been turned on its head. After a little soul searching, I realized I was dating Flicker for all the wrong reasons. She is nice. But she and I simply have too much in common, so she doesn't help me to be a better pony. You and your teasing may drive me crazy from time to time, but I know I wouldn't be the pony I am today without you. What I'm trying to say is, I love you, Wish a World Century.